Let's set up this camera. What's up, it's Keith. I'm actually sitting here doing the final edit of my book, How to Make $500 a Day Cleaning Windows. And I wanna read a chapter to you that I think you'll get a lot out of. It's about the water-fed pole system. And to the best of my knowledge and ability, uh, I'm gonna read for 10 minutes straight if you wanna learn about how the water-fed pole works. And there you go. So check this out. Yeah, I'm actually gonna read right now because I'm almost done editing the book so I can put this damn thing out already, man. Aside from working a million hours a week, I'm actually taking Mondays off now so I can get this shit done, man. I'm gonna stick to my word on this. Okay, chapter 12, the water-fed pole. I have no doubt that this is going to be your favorite part of the book. Why? Because the water-fed pole, in my opinion, will become the most profitable tool in your new window cleaning business. Disclaimer. Uh, before reading this section, I want to disclose that the window cleaning business is a very diverse and multi-perspective business when it comes to what tools one should use. The water-fed pole system is currently at its pinnacle of window cleaning technology. I do not claim to be an expert or authority about any of the claims in this section because there are so many different ways to clean windows. My way is probably not the best, so do not take my advice as gold. Do your own research and find out what works best for you. I will not be held responsible at the helm of other professional window cleaners due to inaccurate information by arguing by you arguing that my claim or uh, gold or true, right? I have no doubt that this is going to be your favorite part of the book. Why? Because the water-fed pole, in my opinion, will become the most profitable tool in your new window cleaning business. I could honestly write an entire book about the water-fed pole system. There is so much more to it than meets the eye. True. I know you know me, so I'm going to start off with all of the important stuff of how to and pricing first, then I'll share with you my personal story about my first experience with the water-fed pole system, which was not so fun. You can buy a complete truck or van mount water-fed pole system online or travel across the country and buy one yourself, or you can spend over $30,000 on a complete multi-stage water fil filtration system with an onboard water tank, batteries, power inverters, pumps, hoses, reels, and all different size carbon, fiber, and fiberglass poles. Right. I didn't have any startup money personally, so I went to Detroit Sponge and Chammy, www.detroitsponge.com, and I got a basic bare bone system for $1,250, same one I still use today. To the best of my knowledge, cleaning windows with a water-fed pole system should be priced exactly the same as if you were cl climbing ladders and doing it by hand with a squeegee. Just because it's easier and faster, by no means does that mean that you should be charging less. That's why it costs more than a squeegee. And that's the whole point of the technology is to make you more money in less time. I use the water fed pole system on residential homes 90% of the time because an available water spigot is always on site. Right? When it comes to cleaning storefronts and plazas, very rarely do you have available water. So you have to clean the windows by hand. Right? For small windows, I charge $3 for medium sized windows, $4 for large windows, five, six, seven, and even $16 for an extremely large window that's four times the size of a regular size window that you would count as four windows, right? One large window, you count it as four windows. When cleaning the windows with a standard basic water fed pole system, excuse me, uh, uh, you want to hook up a standard contractor grade garden hose to the customer's water spigot on the side of their house, right? If you don't have your own water. The reason I suggest using a contractor grade garden hose is because it's thicker, more durable, doesn't kink or not, and allows more water volume to flow through the hose faster than the standard or even cheaper garden hoses. But they're more expensive, right? So the hose hooks up to the first stage pre-filter which is best designed to take out large sediments such as rust and sedimentary deposits that might be present in the water. The water flows from the first stage over to the second stage carbon filter, which filters out lead deposits and any microorganisms in the water. The third stage of the water filter is a carbon block filter, which filters out almost everything except for the minerals in the water. I don't claim to know the exact science behind all of this, but I know it works. The next step in the water-fed pole system can go multiple ways. 
you can run your three-stage purified water system uh, through a reverse osmosis filter, right? A reverse osmosis filter is a membrane that is rolled up and housed inside of an aluminum. Uh, I wrote. Oh, see, I'm editing right now. Aluminum, metal, or plastic tubular housing with water fittings on the end. The bigger the reverse osmosis filter, the more water allowed to travel through it at a faster rate, right? These things are huge sometimes. A reverse osmosis filter creates the same exact result as a water distillation chamber. The distilled water process happens when you boil water inside of a chamber and let the steam from that water transfer into a different chamber where it then settles and turns back into a liquid. The water distillation process boils out impurities and the steam contains pure water. If you've ever drinking distilled water, it tastes completely flat, right? A reverse osmosis filter creates a similar result without having the complexities of a water distillation system. Water must be completely filtered before going to an RO filter because the membranes inside of the reverse osmosis filter are so tiny and small that they only allow the molecules of H2O to pass through them. Okay, I gotta edit that right there because they filter until it becomes H2O. If you run direct tap water through reverse osmosis membrane, you'll probably dirty up and destroy that expensive filter within the matter of a couple window cleaning jobs. This is the reason for a multi-stage filtration process. One filter takes out the big stuff, the next filter takes out the smaller stuff, the next filter takes out the even smaller stuff, and the reverse osmosis filter now takes out literally everything except for some leftover microscopic minerals on the table of elements. I would like to mention that a reverse osmosis filter is not absolutely necessary in a water-fed pool system. And while we're on the topic, neither is a three-stage water filter either. I've been getting questions about this. In fact, you can run dirty tap water from a customer's spigot directly through the DI resin tank and it will come out completely pure, containing 0.00, .00 total dissolved solids, or TDS, right? Pure clean water, or as in the medical field, they call it hungry water, or deionized water, DI water, because it literally sucks and absorbs nearby minerals and dirt particles from its surrounding environment. It has negatively charged ions that are hungry to become rebalanced, right? They want to suck and rebalance the water. They're like, like a magnet. Pure clean water, or as in the medical field, they call it hungry water, right? The bronze silica resin beads inside of the DI tank, that's what's inside of the DI tank, is these bronze like silica resin beads have negatively charged ions that literally suck and magnetically make the minerals in the water stick to it like a super filter that in the process the molecules of pure H2O are the only liquid that are even allowed to exit out of the DI resin filter, right? Does that make sense? All this is the very cheap option to get started. I would not, not recommend using a water-fed pull system with only a DI tank hooked up to a water supply. Why? Reason being, DI resin is very expensive and you will be running through it very quickly. Therefore, your price per gallon of water will be very expensive because you will have to replace the DI resin in your tank more frequently. The reason for a pre-filter, sedimentary filter, filter, carbon filter, carbon block filter, and reverse osmosis filter are necessary before the DI filter. This is the reason, right? This is where you hear the stories about RODI, or RODI, RODI, R-O-D-I. That's what that is. Reverse osmosis, then deionize filter, RODI system. It means that filter water is running through a reverse osmosis filtration system and then being deionized through a DI tank. The reason an RO system is so expensive is because in almost all cases, the city water pressure is nowhere near high enough to force the water through the microscopic membranes of the reverse osmosis system to allow enough pressure to come out of the jets to clean the windows. If you don't put at least 100 PSI or 350 gallons per day, GPD, right? Um, electronic pump in line between the water filters to force the water through, the water product will just come out and just drizzle onto the windows and not be effective. You could buy a professional pump online or you could buy a cheap one at Harbor Freight and wire it all up yourself. This will take up some experimentation and testing and probably some frustration to get it correct, but you can also look online and on YouTube and see tons of examples where guys have created their own reverse osmosis systems with electric pumps, electronic pumps, that shoot water out of their water-fed pull systems. 
uh, the jets, right? In some cases, I've seen window cleaners use multiple pumps or variable electronic pump systems up to 300 PSI. I can keep going, ga, 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 la, la, da, da. Uh, talking about how often you got to replace it. Rarely, ever, never with RODI or somewhat, sometimes if you're doing hundreds of jobs a month and you can check all this out on YouTube and what to charge, TDS meters, that's all about a water fed pole, right? Uh, I spent probably a week straight obsessed with it, reading everything about water filtration and molecules. And it's like, you don't have to know it, but it gets to a point where you become into it and then you learn all about it and you go, wow, that's why that works. And now, see, the reason you get educated on it is because when your customer asks you, so how does that thing work? You go, oh, it's like a spot-free car wash. You want to go deeper? I could explain it for an hour if you want. I know all the science behind it. Like, I'm not claiming to know the science, but you get what I'm saying, right? It creates a sense of competence. It creates a sense of competency, competency that your customer can feel. And you want to know that stuff too, eventually, right? So there you go. Uh, this goes on and on and on and on and on for tons of pages. The whole book's almost done being edited. I promise you the book's not that boring. There's a really good story. I tried to keep cussing out of this book. There might be a couple cuss words. My last book had a lot of cuss words. And I'm excited about this because I wish I had a book like this when I first got started. It was just like p particles and pieces of information. And this is like the full shabam, dude. So, um, I'll put a link in the description below. If you got through all this video the whole way to the end, give me a thumbs up. Uh, for the pre-order is still 19 bucks until the, the book's totally out because there's a couple, uh, just a couple run-on sentences and misspellings left. If you still want to get it for 19 bucks, dude, this book has everything. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. It was a long one. Peace.